this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome to a special bonus episode of Let's Play Crystallis, the Game Boy Color version. I thought I'd show you this version of the game to show you a few of the differences between the two. I'm only going to do one episode of this. I'm not going to replay the entire game, but this game came out in the year 2000, so I hadn't played it in about well, 10 years since the game came out. The up, or quote, upgraded version of the NES version of the game to the Game Boy Color. So, man, it's going to be so awesome with all the upgrades and everything. Let's find out. Pop it into the Game Boy Color here. Oh, yeah, by the way, this game was, well, like I said, made in 2000, but the world came to an end in 1997. Hmm. I suppose that plot wouldn't work too well. Well, let's see what changes they made. Uh, okay. Could you be more specific? Nuts. Oh, so talking about global thermonuclear war, that's okay. But we can't have a mushroom cloud on the scene. No, that might scar the minds of the children. But it was a global thermonuclear war. So we got our powers from nuclear radiation. That's great. Ooh, magicians! Ooh! Talk to the hand! Is that supposed to be Tamalek there? I never knew of a guy named Tamalek in the original, or Tamalek, whatever, tomato, tomato. He doesn't look very nice at all. Well, what? Don't. Oh, Dragonia. Okay. Well, that doesn't sound good at all. Because as we all know, technology is evil. What the hell was that? Is that supposed to be like a Kefka impression or something? Trying to add vocals to a Game Boy Color version? Yeah, we, we're all going to use swords. Even though we have no skill and weapons, we're just magicians, but... Okay, why not? What happened to the power of the Earth? Oh, so they're just going to uh, blow all the plot right at the beginning. That's one thing that I like, I really like, about how the NES version of the game handled the plot. Where it was slowly and gradually revealed throughout the game. Whereas in the Game Boy Color version here, they basically give everything to you all at once. You already know about Messia, and the Four Swords, and the Crystallis. Everything's right up front there for you. And I don't like how they changed the pacing of the plot like that. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I'm just gonna pose here until you wake up, I guess. Oh, and we're a warrior magician or a mage warrior, mage knight, whatever. You have to get the four MacGuffins in order to save the world from an. So basically. We had, like, a nice epic and deep plot before, and now we have, basically, Evil Wizard Rules the World, go kill him. Yeah, pretty much. It, they really dumped it down. So, let's go with Simia again and get started. First thing you'll notice about this game is, obviously, it's the Game Boy Color version. It's going to be lo lower resolution. Okay, I can understand that. I'm not going to, uh, heckle this version of the game for that. Well, maybe a little, but, uh... Yeah, you see how the shape of things are a little different there? And you heard the music during the intro. Uh, they completely changed the soundtrack of the game. Much to my annoyance. That was like the best part of the game, the music. And they totally changed everything. Well, let's see what else we got going on here. Okay, how's it going? A hundred dollars? Wow, all right, thank you. Well, you seem much nicer than your NES counterpart there. Okay, how's it going? Ooh, the evil vampire! 
I want to suck your blood. One. One child. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, there's no other children around here, but... Yeah, you see, they got a pawn shop in this version of the game. Not that you would need to sell anything, but... Well, there you go. Well, it's nice and cozy there in the cave. Okay, so let's start out by buying some armor here. And equipping it. So, basically, same as the original game. So, alright. Let's see, where's that alarm... Where's that alarm flute? What's going on? This wasn't in the NES version of the game. How well, they changed what hit the part with the alarm loop there, so. Nuts. Oh! Darn! Well, at least they... One thing I will give this version credit for, it does give a little bit more backstory. Like, we need to make the windmill work in order to make bread. Okay, it's something to go on. So, well, there you go. And uh, Tamalak is the elder of Leaf Village. So, well, at least they give us a little something to go on. So, yeah, well, I guess it's kind of nice. So, it's not all bad in the Game Boy Color version, but it's just inferior to the NES version. An evil being! Oh, not the evil emperor of the world! So, all right. You have to put some... They were trying to say sort of win, but it's like some digitized, badly digitized voice. <laughs> wow. Wow. Holy cow. Well, okay, let's head out into the world. Let's see how they change the music. I'm sure it'll be just as adventurous as before. Oh, yeah, they got a pawn shop. Now you can tell what an item does, so... Yeah, they got a couple of enemies in this game. What did they do to the music here? What's going on? My childhood! My, my memories! What, what are you doing to them? Holy cow! I mean, what happened to... I mean, it's nice and adventurous and upbeat. I mean, what is this? Wow! Holy cow! Well, let's go visit Zebu. Gotta find out where to get that alarm flu. Okay, how's it going? Yeah, so instead of wise men, they're magicians now. I like wise men better. It seems more mystical. Well, I'm not Simon Phoenix here. Come on! You must prove that you're pure of heart. Oh, yeah. We don't trust you. Honestly, I kind of preferred where they worship me immediately upon waking up. <laughs> but, okay, so we gotta get an alarm food or something. Whatever. But yeah, charging up your weapons and hitting enemies is the same as before. Because you have lower resolution, you can't see the enemies coming right at you like that. So, sometimes you'll run right into them because you'll be going so fast you won't see them. And sometimes, when you run into enemies with projectiles, which, well, I won't be showing you, but uh, they can hit you from, the, uh, from outside of your field of vision, but you cannot hit them. Because that's totally fair. So anyway, we got a new little cave here that they added to get the alarm flute. So I guess we got a quest for it now instead of just buying it at the grocery store or something. But, well, okay, whatever. Alright, there we go. And this time it's an actual flute, not an ocarina or whatever it was before. So, oh, there we go. I don't really care for the cave music either. I hate the music of the Game Boy Color version. Really. It's just so generic. It's not adventurous or anything. There's no emotion. There's no soul behind it. Not like the NES version. The music here, I mean, what is this? I, it sounds like Zebu wanted me, to make me go to the grocery store to buy an alarm flute. It's like music that I would hear at the grocery store. Something like that. It, it, it doesn't do anything for me, man. Huh. Well, okay, let's use the alarm flute on him. Blow it right in his ear. This one time, at band camp, 
No. No. Well, sounds fair enough. But yeah, I mean, for the most part, the game follows the original similarly. Like I said, the final boss, they switched the two final bosses around and everything like that. And really, this game on its own, it would probably not be that bad. But when you're playing, you're comparing this to the NES version, it, there's no comparison. The NES version is just so much better. Just the music, the way the plot is presented, the graphics, you have better field of vision and everything. Yeah, and Zebu shows up. I mean, the only thing that the Game Boy Color version I think does better than the NES version is they do hold your hand a lot more in this version of the game. So you don't have to figure things out as much as you did in the NES version. But the, it's totally not worth it. I mean, just the music alone just makes me cringe when I hear this. So that, that's the really big thing. Oh, we gained another level. All right. I think stats growth and everything like that, I think that's mostly the same in the, uh, fr from the NES to the Game Boy Color version of the game. So. Oh. Hey, I, uh, got the, or the alarm flute to work for you. Hey, hey, all right, there we go. Works the same as before. So yeah, now we would have to rid this place of the vampire. So they'll give you a little more background. But me personally, I just, uh, I love the NES version more in almost every respect. So I hope you've enjoyed this bonus episode of Let's Play Crystallis. I'll be starting my next side LP soon enough, viewers. This is HG Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.